Hello everybody and welcome on today's video. Today we are going to talk about this big U. Uh, I made a video not long ago uh, on this tree uh, about the roots. You might remember it that they are uh, growing over a foam uh, root base just to um, take care of the bad taper that the tree has from uh, this side and uh, this side. So um, today we are going to do something about the foliage. Uh, in my opinion, yew trees are absolutely fantastic trees. You see, when they get old, they lose their bark and then they have this fantastic uh, reddish bark here, which you can get really red by just polishing it with a, a toothbrush. But that's not really uh, the concern today. Another thing you do quite easily is uh, backbudding. Even on very old wood, you have lots of new shoots. That means that you do that uh, on branches too and that you can bring back the green inside the tree on the branches. Now the, the thing here is that uh, all this green, I left it the past year because well, I wanted the, the tree to grow a lot of roots, but these uh, little green shoots will not serve me in the future because well, it's going to take uh, 10 years before they get uh, thick like this one uh, and well I better use this branch than wait another 10 years of course I will not uh, remove all of this green just maybe half or two-thirds in order to make sure that the tree is healthy and growing and these little shoots helps the root to form so I'm going just to remove just uh, partly this uh, new growth which I repeat I will not use in the, the final design of the tree In the top I must take care a little more because some of this green that you see here is already on a uh, on a branch so this is definitely something I want to keep it's just the uh, little ones that emerge directly from the trunk that I will get rid of And of course it's going to give me a better view of the structure in this tree. So this is the top of the tree and uh, I can see here, I'll try to zoom in, won't be easy. This spot I'm going to keep this one here at the top so that that one here so I'll remove that one too like so this might be a, an interesting branch in the future and I'm going to continue thinning this out by just removing uh, these two uh, big shoots here and the thinning out the tree I already removed quite a lot of the of the foliage so if you want the tree to grow vigorously you should leave uh, a lot of foliage on the tree but I still have to do some uh, thing uh, these are dead parts so these dead parts that are too thin will never be used as dead wood, so I can get rid of them. And there were a few out at the back. So to encourage new uh, growth uh, backbudding here, 
uh, you can see these are all little buds here and this is already a bud that is a lot uh, more green and this is even uh, bigger and greener so I want these to open maybe this one to open so I'm going to cut back up to here I'm going to leave uh, some green on every branch you're not uh, obliged to do this on new trees because they will backbud on uh, older wood but by doing this I'm just forcing the tree to open sleeping buds this is a long and leggy branch technically this is the only one that is interesting here this little this little branch here the other foliage is rather far away so maybe I just I just do this So this again illustrates um, these are new little buds they're just opening and if you want them to become the prominent then you should cut away the rest same here so this is uh, very nice long and leggy and then you have little buds here so I'm just going to cut back here and look on this old wood here we have already a new bud and here and here and so on some green is growing inside the tree I'm not going to use that that at the end of this operation the tree is going to look very silly and won't look like a tree or a bonsai as, as we know it and I repeat we're, we're not uh, styling this tree now we are preparing it to be styled one day which is very important when you see demos of big bonsai masters at exhibitions and things like that well they wait for someone to do this work for four years and then they come in and they see what they have start shaping the tree but you have to realize that someone did all this work before as if you do not do that it has nothing to shape So quite a lot of foliage was removed from this tree today uh, but uh, of course all the little buds will start to open now and I hope that in summer there will be an explosion of new growth on uh, more interesting spots than uh, we have the green now. So in the meantime thank you for watching and see you next time.